everybody, we're back for some more Resident Evil. A remake this time. Um, so we're going to be taking a look at the Resident Evil 2 remake instead. And by taking a look, I mean playing the whole thing. I don't know why I keep saying taking a look. Um, Resident Evil 2 remake is currently sitting on a 91 on Metacritic, which is insane <laughs> for a score. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty much almost universally loved, except for that one guy who gave it a zero. Uh, who seems to be shilling for another game, so I think we can probably discount any of that nonsense. Um, we're jumping into the more modern games because currently, at time of broadcast, at time of recording, the Resident Evil 4 remake is coming out pretty soon, uh, and I would like to be... Um, I would like to have played Leon's modern story and also have played the original um, Resident Evil 4 before they come out. So we're kind of breaking uh, the chronological release order is what I was going for, but we're gonna have to gonna have to change that because the <laughs> Resident Evil 4 remake has kind of fucked that calendar up. <laughs> anyway, let's jump in. I'll shrink. I'm gonna go on this side this time because I think I'm very slightly subtly looking this way. Which means I kind of look like I'm looking at the game, right? Yeah, that's what I'm going for. Anyway, save data, PlayStation 4, this isn't a PlayStation 4. Oh, can be converted for use on the PS5. You may also choose to convert save data later. Would you like to convert? No, I want to do a fresh save. Thanks. Okay, voice language, display language, subtitles are on, headput, yeah, audio. I don't know if 3D audio works across Twitch. We'll see. Adjust value until the pattern is barely visible. Which pattern? The one I'm looking at? I don't understand. Is that I can't discern that there's a difference? Is that what they mean? Okay, that is what they mean. Just value until the picture on the left disappears. Yeah, I can barely see it. Actually, I can't see it at all. Yeah. Yeah, that seems right. Ray tracing on, sure. High frame rate mode. This feature cannot be used with your current hardware configuration. What? I'm on a PS5. Huh? <laughs> what else are they assuming that's going to be? Do I have to turn this off and then that can be turned on? No. Okay. So I have not played the PS5 version of this. I'm glad or not. Uh, sure. New game mode has been added. Obtained a special costume. Looks weapons. Alright, this is all the DLC shit. Okay. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> Claire, Leon, costumes. Costumes are the normal outfits. The alt outfits are from the original game. Uh, and then customize Leon. You want to go real old school, and then these are the DLC ones. I think also changing the all these outfits, the story outfits, changes um, some of the other uh, supporting cast as well. Changes their outfits. Okay, controls. Auto reload. Yeah, that's fine. Vibration is on, adaptive triggers. No camera inversion. HDR I can't put on. Just tell us the Elgato can't do HDR. Working on it. Working on it. Those things are expensive though, guys. You gotta you gotta give me a chance. Dynamic range large. Yes. Music sound effects version you can change to the original, which is pretty fun. You can hear it there, just about. Uh I might do another run. 
Like, we're going to do the opposite. Okay, so for people who have never played Resident Evil 2 before, there are two scenarios that you play through. You play through the normal story with one character, and then you unlock a alternate story for the other character. And basically, we are going to do both. We're going to play through the main story for both characters and the alternate story for both characters. Uh, the canonical story is to play Claire first and then Leon, which is what we did for Resident Evil 2. Uh, the original, when we played it, if you want to check that out, it's over on the YouTube Archive channel. By now, it has probably disappeared off Twitch. But that's who we're going to start with. So, Claire, standard. Look, man, I'm serious, okay? I saw this with my own eyes. Oh, I believe you. Super serial. <laughs> tell us a story, tell us a story. Okay. Tell us a story or tell us the story? Night, I was walking home from the bar. God. This woman started coming towards it's me. one of the greatest rendered She's burgers of all time. So I, I figured she was drunk. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, tell us, be honest now, how many drinks did you have? No, man, I, I barely had a buzz on her. Oh, come on. Look, just listen, all right? She got closer and I got a good look at her. You had to see her eyes. Her nose, her whole face, it looked like it was rotting. Yeah. She looked like a corpse. Like a walking corpse, man. <laughs> Sounds like my wife. I've never seen wow. anything like it. I haven't been able to sleep since that night. All right, calm down, buddy. Calm down. Just, hey, you gotta stay strong, okay? Don't give in to fear out there, right? Yeah, Normalize liking your wife, kids. If you freeze up around these things, they'll sink to pieces. Oh, come on. It's just getting good. Yeah, you should uh you should keep your eyes on the road, Chief. Oh wow, this actually does look good. The rain oh, looks really so good. good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure she's fine. It's she's fine now that I have taken like stopped the giant truck that weighs fifty times what that person does. <laughs> Let me know how the game audio is, because this game goes from really loud to really quiet. Like a lot of horror games. She's deed. But the trick is, she was already deed. What do I do? What am I gonna do? Who's gonna know? Absolutely soaked. Yeah, I'm As someone who has driven, who drives a motorbike regularly, you know me, I'll be fine. you've never been more soaked than you have been That's on a motorbike fair. in the rain. I'll be back as soon as I find Chris. I don't think it's ever oh, well. I gotta go. mentioned who exactly she was talking to. Why does everyone think I'm gonna get in trouble? What the? That, kids, is a well? phone booth, or a phone box, if you're in Ireland. They don't exist anymore. <laughs> look at this. This is an antique. You'll never see them again. Let's take a look at Claire's bike before we go any further. <laughs> Harley. Nice. Not sure what a CC is. I can't zoom in because I don't have a weapon. I don't know how U.S. license plate works, but I.N. is meant to be a... Is that the state? Now, let's walk in and get the light again, because it's doing the video game thing where it takes a second to lighten up. Is I.N. Is that how U.S. state license plates work? I don't know. Okay. Right. The police. Someone got out of the passenger side. Sharif. Okay, that one doesn't have like a state license on it, so I don't know. I don't know how US licenses work. Irish licenses. Uh, Irish licenses have the county. Rack 
Raccoon City at Home of Umbrella. We also have Corti's Painting Company celebrating 100 years of service. Dingo Red Cigarettes. When life has you seeing red, enjoy the wild taste of Dingo Red Cigarettes. Get wild. Now on sale. Sorted wheels. Wheels, not tires. Wheels. A bit concerning. Okay. Hamburglers. Got some coffee. Limited offer beer on sale. Six six bucks for some beers. Or a beer, possibly. A little wine to wind down the day. This is a chalkboard in a petrol station. Why? Yes, we are open. Only three students at a time, it says at the top there. Hello? Row, please. Anybody here? Hello? Investor bait the store. There's a lot of blood. Do I hope? It could just be like cold medicine or whatever this bottle is. All right, yeah, there's some shenanigans going on back there. Let's have a look, let's have a look around the shop because you don't spend a whole lot of time here. No tobacco. Twenty-five for ciggies. We got wealth, wealth bar, some poppin' beans. Drop, for peak, for peak candy, uh, buttermilks. Stumps. Stumps milk cereal. Apricot gummies. Almond bits. Mint candy. I can't tell what the cow one. The cow looking one is. is milk candy, but I can't see the... Soft, I think it says. Soft milk candy. Milk candy, which means it's not chocolate. Claims to be chocolate, but it's not. Assorted medicines, I guess? Topical ointments. They don't have brand names on them. Really enjoying some iced cream right now. Herb ice cream. Herbs heal you. Oh, that's fun. They have, uh... They have, like, the healing items as ice cream. In-universe. That's nice. I know, I've never... Like, I've never actually paid attention to any of these things. I only do this set dressing investigation stuff on stream. I don't actually look at it when I'm playing. Gas stuff. What is this? 12, 330 mil bottles of beers. 40, 40 bucks? It's had 6 bucks outside. Bullshit. Select beers are only 32 bucks. Okay, someone's dying around the corner. We'll get to them in a minute. Eric the Dragon Slayer. They killed him. What a great book. Undercover Thrill. A deep Kiss. What's a Deep Kiss? Sounds like a sex thing. Creator's rights. A kiss of love. No, madam. Aphrodite. Gorgeous magazine. I'm just curious if you ever see these again in other games. Mostly what I'm looking at here. Red Bulls. New Coca-Colas from the original Resident Evil 2. Which one sec, buddy? One sec. Are you okay? Damn it. <laughs> Wait here. I'll check it out. Check it out in a sec. One sec. I'm still looking. More beers. Even more beers. Whiskey. Awesome. Uh, charcoal briquettes, maybe? What are these? These are very. They're, these are kind of low res. They're hard to see. Bakery bread. Uh, Kijimasu, which looks like like an MMM's drink. Poppin' beans. Even more poppin' beans. Almond bits. Cereals. Various mascot characters on it. Unnamed potato chips. They don't have a name, but they have a lot of different flavors. Also unnamed cereal. 
very brand, very strange branding situation going on here. Cold drinks. All these slushies. Or popping beans. Lots of beers. Yeah, baby. All right, I suppose we should see what's going on. Someone's having sex back there. Didn't want to interrupt them. All right, buddy. Don't be dead when I come back now, okay? Back, the back rooms. He just he just locked me in. Anyway, I'm not gonna bother going back to check, but yeah, he's just locked. Us in. How you doing, buddy? You ain't got shit. Mm, delicious. I don't think he's listening. Ah, oh, gross. He took like a whole chunk out. Oh, I do have a gun. Hell is up with you. Oops. Damn it. Alright, let's get out of here. Probably should be hello, babies. That's a bum. Storage room key. I don't want to open the inventory. I've got other things to do right now. No like that guy waking up. When you need to use an item to unlock a door or solve a puzzle, select the item and then do the thing. A cop. I feel like he's still with a shot. Anyway. We gotta get out of here. You alright? Yeah. Not really, no. I think so. Thanks. You can thank me later. When we're safe. No, I've already thanked you though. Yeah, we should. The thank has happened. It's too late, Leon. Can't take it back. <laughs> the, the game looks like it's a bit loud. I'm gonna drop it down a bit. Come on! We outy. Those guys will take quite some time to catch up with us. What the hell is going on? I don't know. Hopefully they'll have some answers at the police station. Uh, not the answers Wait, you want. Yeah. Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire. Claire Redfield. Is this your car? You live around here? No. I'm looking for my brother. He's a cop too. Well, it's a good thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore. How many of these signs do they have? <laughs> do they have to just keep reminding you? Alright, here's the part where we get demonetized. This is a really cool um, opening though. Showing you lots of places you'll never see. You never see the train station. Some special forces dudes. Again, you won't see them until the next game, Resident Evil 3. Well, okay, you'll see them, but they're, they're dead. <laughs> Executive producer Jin Takeichi has been around for quite a lot of Resident Evils at this point. I'm not a citizen. I don't have to listen to Due this. To the city outbreak, no, stop talking. I don't have to listen. We're advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police Station. Well, that was a terrible idea. Free food and medical supplies will be provided to everyone in need. 
I imagine they ran out pretty fast. Police station's not much farther. They'll know something. Yeah, but what if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. Well, there's us. It's a big city. There are these two survivors. Here, some walking from here. foolish person has parked all of their cars in front of us. Oh, we, should get, we should get out of here. More like running. Guys, you have a meal right oh. there. Why are you coming after me? Back like that ass up, Leon. I'm trying. <laughs> He's not stopping. Holy shit. There, get out. Get out now! I can't. There's lots of zombies. Hold on! Ow, 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 ow. Is, has urinated in the uh, in the shock. But this happens to uh, happens to a lot of people. <laughs> She's dead. <laughs> Never mind the her like impacting the car at that kind of speed. It's just the pressure wave itself would have ruptured her lungs. Oh no, Laon. There. there, you okay? Yeah! Perhaps. I'm all right. How about you? Uh, I will be in a second. It's not safe. Oh shit. Go on ahead. I'll meet you at the station. Uh, uh, pardon me. Pardon me, everyone. Can't stop. Don't mind me. Uh, just passing through. Just passing through. Passing through. Go back to your, uh, back to your meals. It's like the end of the world. Blech. We have very little ammo in this weapon. The police station. Oh, there's the police station. Almost there. Serpentine. <laughs> All right, so this is the first. This is the first big change um, from the original game. The starting in the police or the petrol station obviously never happened in the original. Um, and that section leading up to the RPD is massively cut down. Uh, well, I say that it's actually just moved in the game. Like, there is a section where you'll leave the police station for a bit. Um, and in that case, uh, the stuff that would have been in the opening of the original game has been moved to that side instead. There's also the under, under arch passageway. You could access that in the original game, you can't access it in the remake. Honestly, because there's been a... No, I was going to say there's been a canonical change, but there hasn't really. I haven't explained who's in there. Anybody here? Again, this is the main lobby. I'm going to I'm gonna go around pointing these out because they interest me. But the um, statue has been moved. It's at the back now. Uh, previously, it, was, it would be here and the desks. They would have swapped places. You know... Okay, I need to change. Oh, uh, I need to change aiming. Really? 
See, it feels faster. I'm going to put these at the same spot, though, because it feels weird that they are different. Still, it's, aiming feels faster than camera movement. PS4 version and the PS5 version also seem to count as different SKUs, uh, which is why trophies are popping up. Deluxe weapons, we won't be touching this. For this playthrough, at least. Um, they are effectively... Um, they're meant to be the handguns of... You know, the original... Not the original characters, but the ones from the first game. Chris and Jill, and then Albert Wesker. They're handguns, if you wanted to play through them. I kind of want to keep this playthrough as canonical as possible. If we do a, a for funsy second playthrough, I'll Come on, Chris. I'll mess around with. Where them. are you? It's not crisp. Oh shit! They're inside too. David, Marvin, you there? No. I found a way out. It's in here. I'm neither of those. How long has he been dealing with these guys and you just shot him once? I should help this guy. Yeah, but first. Alright, we got our map. It's fine. We got the map. Um, so this wasn't necessarily introduced in this Resident Evil, I think it was introduced in Resident Evil HD, um, but the map, not only does it tell you which room you are in, that kind of thing, and tells you that doors are locked and so on, um, it also tells you where items are, if you have seen them, so I think the camera has to scan them, once they've been scanned it'll tell you where that item is, just in case you've missed it, I guess. Uh, it tells you blocked doors, um, but also it tells you that red means there are still items in the room you haven't picked up. Uh, which is probably the first aid spray and some other things. I think that was introduced in Resident Evil HD. You can still see the, the map though. Look at that OS. What OS is that, 95? Is it 95? Well, obviously it's a made-up OS. Anyway, we're, we're, we'll go save that guy in a second. I just want to, just want to see what else is in here. Okay, three slots. One thing that is kind of missing from this game, got a little triage station here. Medicine, hazmat stuff. One thing that is missing is like flavor text for when you click on something to tell you like, There's an item here, or there's a depression here, or there's a hole in, in the thing, or whatever. Puzzle. Uh, technically, I, I know the solution to that puzzle <laughs> already, but again, I'm trying to keep it canonical, so I won't solve it right now. But yes, the solutions are the same. Okay, I'm just going around collecting things. Since we're here, since that guy uh, will is perfectly safe until we interact with him. As long as you know, if if we stayed in the hall, he'd he'd live forever. The computer is crazy loud. I can hear it all the way from here. So you might remember in the original, the computer and the desk and the item box and everything were all in this area. We're all here. The statue was uh, basically they swapped places. Also, this was not locked. Before. 
Now, where's that first aid spray? Healing spray that will restore you to full health. That's good. Thousand recovery items. That's fine. Level one key. Uh, this is useless now. Uh, the Resident Evil won't tell you when an item is, or it won't have that prompt that came up in the older games that said, you know, this this item is useless now. Do you want to discard it? It won't. It won't say that anymore. Oh, great. It'll just have a little tick on it to say that you've used it and it has no further uses. You can get rid of it now if you want. I'm not sure if that's a gameplay improvement, really. Okay. A crime chart. What are our numbers like? Murder, three, 27, there's five, so they're up. Rape is down. Robbery is down. Aggravated assault is up and down. Assault is slightly down. Burglary is down. No, they were doing okay. Vehicle theft is up. Practically everything else is down. And then we're in 98, which is when the game is set. So those numbers aren't correct, really. Missing persons, maybe. Text is illegible. <laughs> Lost child. Still missing. Don't think that's a reference to anything. Right, these are just like missing people for the some handful of people who managed to make it here. Missing persons. Handful of people who actually managed to make it to the police station. Claire's flashlight is too bright. I can't read that stuff. There's a dog, though. Dog is missing. Boo. I look for dead bodies. I look at the mirror. I look for... This, this is really hard to read. Not like Dead Space. Dead Space was also hard to read, but I could still do it. Okay. This, I think, is locked. In the original game, there was a blue Coca-Cola vending machine. They've now changed it to just cold drink. Also, well, that particular vending Focus, machine Claire. wasn't here, but Focus. was in the game. Okay, shoot the bomb. Oh, you had a serious accident. had a much worse accident. Restroom. Okay. Restroom has, as you can see, changed locations and is much smaller than the original. Right. Only all the corpses had, you shoot them in the bum and they'll vomit out ammunition for you. That'd be great. Tell you now that you don't need to check anymore. Because <laughs> the map will literally tell you when you found everything. <laughs> Cleaning in progress. How, lo how long has it been in progress? They've given up on the men's. They've just, just given up on the men's toilet. Uh, what about the women's? Is that the toilet overflowing? Is that what we're hearing? Yep. A 
That's what we're hearing. Alright, that explains why there's so much water here. Toilet water. Oh, oh my god. It's our friend. I stuck in through there. Open up! Hurry! Open up! Open this Open goddamn, this door. goddamn door! Let's see. He has quite the delivery. Trying, dude. I could have just thrown the book in. You know? Well, that's. He's getting a real blowjob right now. So good, it killed him. No, oh, no. Okay, maybe, maybe that's not what was happening. Tell Marvin you love him. That body armor didn't do fucking end, did it? Now read this guy's diary. Gross. Did we have to zoom in on that part? Right, officer's note to book. Goddess statue. Medallions? Question mark. Three of them. Question further question marks. Leads us down to something. And then up to parking. And then out, maybe? And then you've got uh, a sketch of a horse. Actually, looks like it bled through from this side. You've got the sketch of the horse, sketch of a lion, which you've already seen. You can see that has a puzzle solution already. And a goddess statue that has a puzzle solution. But it's not this goddess statue. It's a different one. Interesting. Anyway. I should probably... We should probably leave. Oh. Hello? Can I help you? Hello, sir. You wouldn't mind terribly just fucking off. All right, let's go. We got a motor. Shit! This gun does not have a lot of ammo. No, no you don't. Open this goddamn door! Hey, come on, Dirtle! Hey, go away, come on, I got out. Leave me alone. Yeah, Marvin. I got it. Oops. You alright? Yeah. How heavy is this door? For now. Hey Marvin, you know, look so good. Marvin Brana. Robarf. Thanks. Obviously someone taught you well. Not, not yeah. that well. I know how to take care of myself. Yeah, you sure do. That's why you needed my Come help. On. To get out of that situation. Yeah, can you wash your hand first? <laughs> the gross. Mm. So nobody knows what caused this? Nope. There's a lot of theories, but all I know Are any of them good? Are they good the theories? Have they been proven? Yeah, you're telling me. Hey, hey, keep that on. Just in case. I'm not gonna be around long. Once I find Chris, we're out of here. You're really Chris's sister? Yeah. Why? Did you find something? He's on vacation. Europe, I bet. Left weeks ago. God damn it. It's, it's great news. Yeah, if, you got more for it. if you believe it. Looks like there might be a way out through this secret passageway. Good. Hey Marvin, why does the police station have a secret passageway? Hey. Uh, hey we should probably get you to a hospital. Uh, oh, forget about me. I can take care of myself. No. Don't be ridiculous. You're going to need some help. Listen, Claire. Save yourself. Okay. See ya. You can see your brother again. Now, you'll probably need this. No, I'm not taking that. You're gonna. Marv, could you give me like a fucking shotgun or something? 
if you see one of those things. Or a grenade launcher? No matter who they were, you can't hesitate. Take them out if you can. Because that's what I did. And now look at me. Or you run. <laughs> How about knife? So these behave a little bit differently. Again, this is kind of coming from Resident Evil HD as well. Uh, equipment the evidence is going to use the knife. This wears down with use. So knives, uh, knives have. Uh, Uh, degradation. I forget the word now. Break, ab break ability. Uh, they can also be used to counterattack, which is kind of their better use. If a zombie grabs you, you can just stab them with the knife. Okay, she'll just keep... I'm just holding the button. I'm not pressing it. And you don't need to aim to reload. I'm forgetting a lot of things about this game. Yeah, this is this is definitely something you would have in a police station. That makes sense. Marv. Oh, he took the laptop with him? So he can check out some porn right before the end. Right before the end times. For him, anyway. Okay, so... Might as well get this medallion while we're here. Oh, there's our, there's our notebook. The lion is lion branch bird. We got the lion medallion. A large ornamental medallion adorned with the relief of a ferocious lion. One. One more. Well, I'm not going to be, like, blasting my way through this game. I want to take my time with it and, you know, check out everything. Need the club key for that. This is something that came from Resident Evil 7. Use the knife to d destroy anything that has these yellow tape on it, basically. going to put the lion medallion in. Since we have it, we might as well. So Elliot was right. Yeah, but we're not out of here yet. Two more to find. News articles. Missing 12-year-old discovered in Raccoon City. Boy found murdered in park. Family looks for missing teen. Why are these framed? Just a random framed American flag, as you do. And the state's breaking go away. Can I sort? Is that a thing? It's sorted. <laughs> I think it by default puts all the, the weapons at the top. So while there is like a typewriter for saving, I do feel that is mostly in service to the uh, original game more than anything else. Because uh, the game auto saves as well. It's the original game did not. Well, this is not really possible. PS1. The system just did not have enough memory for something like that. Uh, this is in. Cthulian, maybe? I know, oh, those say stars at the top. Not Raccoon City Police. Stars, specifically. Got some more things that are illegible. Might actually all say the same thing. Magazines? Cooking life? Hunting life? Any other kind of lives? No. Missing man, found dead. Body. Can't be the rest of that. 
Body found in woods. Potentially a reference to Resident Evil 1. Police? Eat? Villagers? That's probably not right. Police and villagers may be in all night search for missing girl. No liquor crawling past the window. Hmm, I'm not sure what that is though. Hmm. Also had a, an abrupt change in lighting. Excuse me. He's touching down in the RPD in a few minutes. How you doing, buddy? Are you happy to see me? Oh yes, he's very, very happy to see me. Look at that smile. My goodness. Who's there? This guy. Just hanging out. Okay, so this was more to sort of um it's more to fuck with people who had played the original. Um, ordinarily, the liquor would drop down here. But uh, not this time. Although, he's certainly around. Open windows. Record of events. September 25th, returning the station into temporary shelter due to the massive sudden outbreak. All police personnel have been instructed to make the safety of the citizens their top priority. So we try to accommodate as many of them as possible. September 25th, addendum. One of the refugees attacked us in the middle of the night, resulting in the death of one officer and injuring three others. The person in question was quickly restrained. The person in question would have been fucking shot, but okay. Uh, we believe this was simply a case of someone snapping under intense stress. They snapped so much that they killed one guy and injured three others. September 26th. The mob attacked the station today, resulting in a number of casualties. Few survivors were able to make it safely behind the emergency shutters, but surrounded as we are, it'll be hard for any of us to escape this place. We're not sure we can fix any of our comm equipment, so we remain cut off from the outside world. 27th. Uh, there was another clash on the west side of the station around 1pm, 12 people died and there's only a handful of survivors left, everything is falling into disarray. In here, David. Sounds bleak, Dave. Sounds bleak. Alright, got the full map. Mm, lots of things marked out and uh, questionable red stains on the right hand side. Now we have the full thing, we're in the operations room. something I guess. Um, let's go over here and got a statue we can interact with. Fuse box that we just again camera scanned. We didn't actually in, uh, engage with it. It's just the camera scanned it. Coming in or what? Who had an accident? Okay. It's always a question of whether to bother killing the zombies or not, because they actually take a lot of ammo in this in the new game in this game. Anyway, where are we going? Ah, uh, there was more stuff to pick up in there. Well, whatever. We have to go back through there. That's kind of our next port of call. 
don't think you can actually get into any of the other rooms. So I always kind of found it was mean that they had the this kind of fat zombie banging on the vending machine. Shit. Thanks. I need to do something about the sensitivity of this weapon. It's messing me up. Oh, we can go in there. Well, I'm gonna go the same. Let's have a look around. Zero two has film in it, I think. Knife. No, that's film. Not sure, actually. Gunpowder, maybe. Grenade launcher. Accessory pack. As you can see, zombies are quite durable. I think he's still going. Anyway, I don't think we can actually open anything in here yet. Storage locker terminal memo. It appears that the keypad to the locker's terminal is missing a few keys. I suggest that the person responsible for this mess find some spare keys and fix this right now. You know who you are, bastard. Who else would fuck up at the... <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah. Who else would fuck it up this badly? Yeah, we don't have. Oh no, we have a one. So we can open some of these. We can open 106. 106 and 109. We're missing a two and a three. He's still going, all right. The hell is up with you? Okay, he might be done now. Roll of film. Undeveloped roll of film. Film commemorative. An undeveloped roll of film commemorative is written. We got some handgun ammo back. Not really as much as I would have liked. Okay, he might be dead. Again, he might be re-dead. That's what he Jesus. That's quite the casting couch. Okay. More boys wanting to get in. Don't think they can get in though. Bleep. Boards. As you can see, you can collect many of them. So it has one on it. Alright, this is a save room. 
safe room, whatever way you want to think about it. Gunpowder! I mean, all about. Oh, yeah, you don't want to tutorialize me on gunpowder. Standard grade gunpowder, combine two of these to create handgun ammo. Well, we only got one. Medicinal benefits of herbs. Uh, humans have used herbs to treat sickness and disease since the dawn of time. In this book, we'll explore three such herbs native to the Arclay Mountains. Green herbs have the ability to heal basic injuries. Blue herbs have long been used to treat poisoning. Red herbs, while they are visually appealing, they offer no medicinal benefits. Or so it was thought, until recently. Well known that combining herbs together produces blends that heighten the herbs' effects. But it has been discovered that red herbs can play a big role when mixed properly. According to one doctor of Asian medicine, mixing blue and red herbs together produces a blend that will strengthen one's constitution. Truly, we've only just begun to realize the full potential of these herbs and their ability to heal the human body. Further research is sure to yield even more fascinating results. So, you know, mix and match. We'll figure it out. Figure out that they do other things. It's red herb. I'm gonna combine it because we have no space. Right. Green and red is a full game, effectively. Commemorative photo. Yep. That's it. <laughs> That's all you get. Film contains evidence, do not leave it. office. Although, is there much point in going in here if we can't actually get out? We don't have this key. There's something to be said for going in because there are things in there that are useful. Thinking. useful stuff. Would you stop making so much noise? Rookie's first assignment. Leon S. Kennedy, we're putting you on a very special case for your first assignment. Your mission is to unlock your desk. The key to your success is in the initials of our first names. Input the letters in order of our desks. There are two locks, one on each side of your desk. Make sure you get them both. Basically, your first task is to remember your fellow officers' names. We you figure that much out, right? Good luck, Leon. By the way, it might take a little work to get Scott to give you a straight answer. Lieutenant Branagh, scrawled in a corner between drops of blood. Glad you're not here, Rookie. Some names. There's David. We had a little message about him earlier. Operation report. September 28th, 2.30 a.m. It's down to just me and three others. No weapons, no ammo, and too many skirmishes have drained us mentally and physically. We're not gonna make it. Officer Phillips once suggested we escape through the sewers. Apparently there's a secret tunnel under this place left over from its museum days. I brushed her idea off before, but now it's not sounding all that bad. There's no proof there's even a tunnel or that the sewers aren't infested with zombies, but I don't want to sit here and wait to die either. It's a long shot, but I'm going to try to find out what I can about that tunnel. Elliot. Elliot and David. And... Hmm. Yes, you do. Right, so Ned. Ned is that side. Uses of gunpowder. Handgun ammo, double gunpowder. Acid rounds, gunpowder, and high-grade gunpowder. Machine gun, submachine gun ammo, even high-grade, double. 
Not a lot of ammo left around the station, so make good use of any gunpowder you find. Different guns require different ammo, so pay attention when you're combining things or you won't get what you want. That door need. Alright, so Ned. Side. And the second side. Got Marvin. It's Marvin's desk. Oh, collectibles. Right. I haven't heard these in ages because I have all of them. Or I did, but this is a new thing, so. get used to not having to aim to reload. Coming from the old Resident Evils and Dead Space, which all both requires you to aim to reload M, and then Rita, and then this guy who I just killed. Something Scott. Let's go. Reloading doesn't take a million years. The speed loader for the SLS-60. SLS right, now when we reload, it won't take 10,000 years. Welcome, Leon. So, in the original game, Marvin was found here. And there were rows of lockers here instead. There also wasn't a staircase. We can't get out that side. We haven't checked the lieutenant. Lieutenant's office. Son of a bitch. All right. If that happens, they're definitely dead. They're not getting by. Safe. Again, I know the combination. Claire doesn't know. Let's put it this way. Claire doesn't know the combination. Okay, so that's as far as we can get in there. The safe deposit room, that's as far as we can get. The operations room, like I could... I was going to say I could make my way back to it, but I actually can't. I'm sort of locked in right now. And the game is pointing out that there's a window here that's not boarded. Possibly do something about that. Okay. He's gonna continue to flail uselessly. He can't, can't break that. Somehow he can break the metal bars, but he can't break the wooden uh, or game here is where you would change into special costumes. But now you just pay for them. <laughs> I'm not bitter about it. Okay.
I don't think she wakes up unless you make her wake up. Fast that reload is now. Men's locker room. Really don't want to go into the men's locker room. Red herb. An eye out for a green. Yes. Decor in here is strange. We can't get through here because we need to turn off the steam. Good. Hey, okay, you gotta find the code for that. I know what it is, but again. Flame rat. For a weapon we don't have yet. Empty. Portable safe instructions. Press a button to light up its corresponding lamp. Light them all to open the safe. The buttons must be pressed in a certain order. Pressing a single button out of order will cause all the lights to go out. And you will need to start the sequence over again. This is by far the most frustrating fucking thing in the game. Because there's no, like, solution for these things. You just have to play a game. Alright, one, two... So three one is correct. No. Three one four two. Okay. Three one four two five. No. Three one four two six five seven. Fuck. Three one four two six five eight. Spare key. Keypad button for for a terminal of some sort. There's nothing written on it. Right, so we can go back down and use that. Uh, I'm debating that maybe we should actually just do that now instead of keep going. Because um, this hallway will get very complicated soon. And it's probably best if we do this now. question is... Which number do we want? So yeah, he can eventually break through the window, but once the boards are there, he can't actually get in. We're fine. I hope this guy stays dead. Okay, so what was in here? Gunpowder and a knife, which is kind of whatever. So I'm thinking two is probably, or three is probably our better one. No, two, so we can actually open these. Although 202. 202, so we can. No. So this is 203. You actually need both keys to get into there. 208 just gives us more grenade shells. It's not actually all that useful either. Either number, really? Or whatever. If you can pick which one you want, we're gonna go for two. One oh one oh two has something in it. What's a grenade round? Eight. the other spare key to get into the to get into every locker and we'll need to find the weapons card there's a card slot there we need to find that to open and get the grenade launcher but again we have to come back down here to open the safe anyway 
put away the herbs and the gunpowder. And the yeah, because we don't have a weapon. So we can't go any further on the first floor. So we're gonna move up to the third floor and start. Seriously? Now found a key. What kind of key? It is a spade key. Spade shaped key. So we now get into spade doors. I think the only thing missing here is what's in the locker. I think that's why it's red. To any survivors, consider this a gift for anyone still unfortunate enough to be alive. Keep your eyes peeled for those creepy fox that look like they were skinned alive. Lickers, we call them. They're blind as bats, but they're hearing more than makes up for it. As long as you don't run around like a total idiot, guns a-blazing, you should be able to slip right by them. Probably. Either way, make like my grandma and creep around as slow as possible around them, yeah? Anyway, not that I want to go, but duty calls. That and I've got a friend to avenge, David. Find a detonator for it. Some guys' scribblings. Damn those corporate assholes! They cut me off. After all I've done for them. What if 
that's how it's gonna be, so be it. I'm gonna have a little fun of my own as the world goes to shit. Ported all those filthy pigs up in a steel pen and set some C4. All I gotta do is detonate it and it's sayonara, suckers. It's no fun if it's over too soon, so maybe I'll give that one raving loon something to really squeal about. Yeah. Maybe I'll give him a little toy and tell him, kill the guy next to you and I'll spare the others. I wonder what he'll do. You yell about justice and pride, but how many times did you go against me? Your own superior. Yeah, you're such a good cop. So good you have to die. Man, is this fun. I need some music for this. I'm pretty sure that's Brian Irons. So we've added some inventory slots. So the reason we want to get in here is because there's the other statue. That has the medallion that we need. Since we picked up more inventory slots, uh, let's just grab this. So we're still looking for the horse statue, and a, well, the goddess statue we found. More things here. Okay, so the library actually has, and it's one of the first times you'll encounter multiple zombies at once. How fast can you get back here? Why, what's up? I've got something to show you. It's important. All right, I'm on my way. How important? How important would you say it is, Mark? Is it important enough for me to make my way back to you? <laughs> uh, fuck. Well, that's still in it. That's still in the game. Good to know. Problem. Uh, that could have gone better. All right, now we have second floor. Just stuff for me to go. Well, I have to go back and get my knife. Scorpion, uh, pot. Don't think this door opens. <sighs> hang on. Oh, my knife. Well, hang on to the gunpowder for now. You know what? It probably actually works out that uh, they're all corralled into that room because that means they won't be a pain in the ass when we need to move here again. The Red Book. I have no space for it. Okay, uh, in that case. Red Book, Art Object. 
piece of plastic shaped like a book. It looks like it was being held by a hand at some point. As you may recall, we had that commemorative photo earlier that we developed, and it was holding a book. While we're here, I was going to say we'll do this. Someone's woken up. Oh, I remember now. It's, it's behind one of these. I don't think we can get through there. Is that it? We want to move this. And we want to move. We want to move this one. to eventually undo that and then move that into position so we have a walkway because as you can see we can't use that anymore <laughs> let's make our way back to marv so claire isn't you know dying Alright, Marv, what was so important? There you are. Did you find Come some really good porn, Marv? What is it? Take a look. Oh my god, he made it! You know him? Yeah, it's Leon. Uh, Kennedy, I think? Leon S. Kennedy. The rookie. Thought he looked familiar. You can make it to that courtyard. Second floor, east side. Okay. Thanks, Marvin. I'm on it. Thanks, Marv. Catch it in? Medical attention, maybe? Put the other medal in. Alright, there's one more. We gotta find the detonator first. else needed a spade key. Let's, let's just unlock this now. Way comes up, we can just get rid of the key. I saw something else. Actually, that might have been the cloak key. Not important. There's one. Got some cold drinks. We can get some... Com Compa? Compa, maybe? Arta and food in drink form. Hey, Marvin, officer of the month. Bet.
guide pamphlet. Welcome to Raccoon City. Did you know, while we are the home of pharmaceutical giant Umbrella Corporation, Raccoon City is a vibrant and dynamic city with a long, rich history of its own. In this guide, we'll introduce you to just a few of the more unusual points of interest our city has to offer. Raccoon City Police Station. That's number one in their guide. The building in the center of town wasn't always a police station. In fact, it used to be an art museum, but we're so devoid of culture we turned it into a police station. Various features like the unusual clock tower and the goddess statue in the main hall remind us of a bygone era. But we had culture. The, orf the orphanage apparently is also in their travel guide. Just a few blocks from the police station is an orphanage founded and run by the Umbrella Corporation with the help of generous donations from businesses and citizens alike. The building is known for its stained glass window, which attracts visitors from around the world. Do they take a, do they take a child home with them? That's it. That's all that's in the guide. Wow. Hmm. Who turns a museum into a police station? Uh, video game developers who want to make something interesting. We're safe. A combo too. Well, I say we. Claire does not know the combo too. I know the combo. Discarding. Now it tells you. It's the last one. Uh oh. Who could that be? Uh oh, SpaghettiOs. kind of key card is it? It's a weapons locker key card. Please return all firearms to their original locations after use. Please return this card promptly after use. Please contact the firearms unit if you lose this card. This key card may only be used by an active member of the RPD. Oops. Please exercise caution when handling firearms. Please return all firearms to their original location. Art article, The Red Stone, in Raccoon Magazine. The ruby that captivated Edward the Black Prince. The pearl that the Queen of the Nile milked dry. The diamond that the lit... The diamond that led a queen to the guillotine. There is no end to the number of tales related to the appeal of jewels. This mysterious red stone is simply the latest to sparkle among them. Like those other jewels, this one's origin is unknown. It's from a rock. It is said that it once adorned a noblewoman's jeweled box and was even dedicated to a wise king. This fall, this stone that's long been shrouded in legend will be on display during auction. There are sure to be many eager enthusiasts there. But dear reader, one would do well to approach with care for devilry lies in beauty's shadow. The jewel has turned caring nobles who love their subjects into despots more terrible than Caligula. Caligula just wanted a party, really. And we have the tales to prove it. Seriously, it's precisely because these jewels are bathed in blood that their luster stirs something in the hearts of people everywhere. If you say so, I'm just going to use it to solve a puzzle. Fine. I'm sure it's just glass anyway. So there's the hand. Statue's left arm. What kind of left arm? It, it says it's the statue's left arm. <laughs> Looks like it's supposed to be holding something. Is it supposed to be holding? This! Left arm with book. A left arm made of plaster. The book fits in it like a glove. Left made of plaster. Made of plaster of Paris. Looks like it's made of plaster. That being said, that's a pretty elaborate statue. Scepter. A short staff with a jewel in it. But what kind of jewel? 
got a button. Now I just have the jewel. A pricey looking gemstone. They just throw the, <laughs> throw the scepter away. Now I got a jewel. Now, here's the real question. I cannot remember if in the first scenario or the second scenario, the liquor attacks you. The original game, it's the second scenario. Also, does this game have quick turn? to be the second scenario. Right. See, I know what's about to happen. Because I've played this game a lot. But I don't know it too well, because it's been a while. It came out like four years ago. Almost exactly four years ago, actually. It came out on the 25th of January. Okay. <laughs> you, guys, you guys okay? Maybe. Hey, Claire. Yes. Leon, I'll be right there. Just not gonna that's gonna pass question on this. Come on. Leon. Hey. We really gotta stop meeting like this. Are you alright? Police chopper, it just came out of nowhere. Yeah. I'm fine. Uh, how are you? You don't have the key. Leon, no. you're in pretty no. good shape. Just climb it. see your face though. How are you holding up? Hey, I'm hanging in there. Hell of a night, huh? Yeah. Find your brother? I did actually. He's. Maybe we shouldn't stand here. Just me think it can't get any worse. Uh. Leon? You uh, should, should get going. You should probably go. Don't worry about me. Just get yourself to see. I'm pretty. S I'm the one behind the, the, the cage. Leon. Leon, seriously, they're getting to the fence. Please just go. <laughs> We're gonna make it. Both of us. I mean, he's he's right. <laughs> he is right. It sounds ridiculous, but he is right. Hey guys. Hey Marvin, this is bad. I've got zombies everywhere. Zombos. She actually hey, called Marvin? them zombies too. Marvin, are you there? Nope, I'm dead. Marvin? Cutting tool. What kind of cutting tool? A bolt cutter. A tool for cutting through chains and other metal objects. And in. Okay. Uh, so, we're back to where the game more or less started. The room right directly across from us. Can be opened with the bolt cutters. Debating where to go next. Ah, oh, you dick! I didn't get to that fast enough. Oh no! You asshole! Fuck! <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. Eric. What the fuck? This is where you fall down. Uh, 
A grenade. This is another um, safety weapon, I guess. I'm not going to pick it up because can I discard? Okay, I can. Or actually, let's wait to deal with this guy. Let's just have it. I saw the button, I pressed it. Where the screamy lady? Where's the screamy lady? She outside? Yeah, they're outside. Hi, hey, buddy. Well, let's not let them in just yet. I don't think I can really avoid it. Gunpowder. A flash grenade. A guy standing in the rain. Uh, valve handle, which we're gonna need. That's actually a key item. High grade gunpowder. Really don't have space for a lot of things right now. Right, you're actually important. So come with me. Okay, that frees up a bit of space. Um. Key item that answers that question. Okay. Fuse for the main hall, an electric fuse, main hall shutter is written on it. Right, so that will open the shutter for us so we don't have to keep crawling in and out of it. Okay, I am inclined to go this way instead of having to deal with those guys crashing through the. Okay, so this is the like if I take the long way around then I'll be able to deal with them easier. Should I break in now? Thought they would. Maybe they've actually tried to make their way around. Entirely possible. Oh, there's a herb in this room somewhere as well. And bullets where are the bullets? the corpse because I've been avoiding going near them in case they wake up. This ammos. All right well I don't know where they've gone which is a little worrying. box here we can put some stuff in there. Uh, I'm gonna put the gem away because I don't remember what it's for. Green herb by itself is kind of pointless. The rest uh, I don't have a healing item on me at the moment. Let's go back in there and pick up that stuff. And this room is now accessible as well. Check that out. What the hell? Landed on her. <laughs> if this was Resident Evil HD, it set uh, them both on fire. Say 
that room is accessible. She's not really one shot at the back of the head, and she's gone. Oh no, I shot her a bunch of times in the legs as well. Um, okay, I think we'll leave those items for later. Uh, we have to come back through here anyway to open this. We'll leave them, we'll pick them up then instead. Because I don't have space. Uh, next direction to go in. We don't have the club key, so we can't get in there. We have this. Get that. Get ourselves another weapon. Um. Have this. We can open that. No, we don't have that. Sorry. We need a crank to open it. Which we don't have. We have this. The valve handle. Marv, you weren't answering your radio. What's up? Hey, buddy. Are you dead? Okay. I gotta hurry. Getting there. Ourselves a grenade launcher. Nice. GM seventy nine. Grenade launcher is capable of firing flame and acid rounds. Switch ammo with or one. Go away. Weapon. And we're gonna need that because. Oh, no. Yeah. I said goo. Somebody said goo at me. It scared, it scared me quite a bit. I need us. How many of these can I stack? Get the whole thing. That works. I don't know what else I need this for. else I need that for and I will need the grenade launcher. So I don't specifically need the launcher. I would rather have this on me when we need it. Let's see how this goes. 
not having a safety weapon is a bit... I think the one who was slumped over is awake now. wasn't able to get to her fast enough. If you can take her out quickly, you can take her out quickly, she'll fall over the railing. I wasn't able to. Boiler blew up. That explains a lot. Boiler blew up, and then the boiler really blew up. Something smashed this hole open. Should you really have the boiler just out like this? This is very dangerous. The guy there, but I don't think he actually is. He's, he's just there. Better. Hang on. Picking you up just yet. So. Okay, here we go. Why, yes, there very much is a reason I have swapped weapon. Find out in a second why. I guess. Look at the fucking radius on this weapon. Oh, hey, stars. I was looking for this. And this room is almost decked out the same. The radio's in the wrong position. Wait, no. No, it's not. No, it's not. Uh, Wesker's office, though. Wesker has his own office. It used to be back here, and this, this caged section was not a thing in the original game. Notices. I can't read. Someone's playing darts. They're very bad at it. Not that I'm good at darts or anything, but they're not particularly good. Gunpowder. That guy. I've almost certainly already missed a few of them. Those are the good ones. Stage spray. 
presented to Brian Irons for your outstanding dedication, commitment, and service to the Raccoon Police Department and to citizens of our community. All right. Recognition of Police Canine Jack. Retired with eight years of faithful and devoted service. Good for you, Jack. Service Award. Uh, that's illegible. Valor Award for... Midwest American Police Work Dogs. Dogs again. 10th anniversary for somebody. Illegible and too dark. It's first aid sprint. Name rounds. Listen to some music. Can't read it. Love session, but I can't read the name of the band. Now go. Officer Memorial, Officer Memorial. Lots of guns. This is probably Barry's desk. <laughs> All right, there's a special room in here. Let's use a submachine gun. Armory door is locked. It's going to authenticate our accounts, but we don't have an account. Ant authentication is acquired. Insert your dongle. Well, I don't have a dongle, so that's not happening. Let's check out Wesker's room. There's Red herb here. Battery. That seems important. Internal memo. September twenty seventh. Sorry. September twenty second, nineteen ninety eight. Office supply internal relocation notice. Heat resistant three number combination safe. Moved from Star's office, second floor, to the West office on the first floor. Combo was left 9, right 15, left 7. Please change the combo ASAP upon receipt. So that's the safe that's the first safe we came across. Alright, what's Wesker reading? South Animal India. Officer Memorial. Team? It's the same picture. down here, Wesker, under your office. It must be uh, Leon has something to do with it. Or it could be the second scenario, actually. All right, what kind of battery is it? <laughs> ah, okay. Red herb. Red herb and flash grenade. What is more important to pick up? Probably the red herb. Again, we will be coming back to this room because we have to do the dongle for that computer. Can I leave the stuff here for now? Pick it up on the way back. Alright, liquor's dead. And the liquor ate that guy, so he's dead. Is new. Needs a diamond key, which we don't have. Shit. Fuck the battery is for, is the thing. 
can't be for the, the detonator, right? If the detonator would have been there. So we check. Because Mr. X has to spawn. The detonator must be somewhere else. Okay, well we can open this safe. Liquor must spawn. Um, Mr. X. Okay, we're gonna have to take a long way around though, because we can't jump back across. from like perfect aim on those last two zombies to the worst aim I've ever had. It's gonna do much use now if he got in. Okay, 
embarrassed in there. Locker room. Cap. It's very angry on the other side. revealed what it combines it with now. It's some sort of electronic gadget. What? It's missing something. Detonator. It has no battery. A detonator for C4 explosive. It's missing a battery. Now. What causes Mr. X to spawn? I guess. Deal. I also don't remember what the red jewel was for. Why don't you escape now? What's preventing us? Preventing us from just leaving. Does Mr. X not spawn until the second time you come back? Sorely tempted to just open that now. So while I don't quite 100% remember the combination, I'm pretty sure I could brute force it. I know most of it. And you may have noticed that uh, the combinations are are all within like a couple of twists of each other. You know, you don't have to twist very far to get to the actual answer. a speedrun strat for this section, which I will talk about after it happens. I don't want to, for people who haven't seen it, I don't want to spoil the event of this room. Last uh, knocks over that armoire, which means our exit is now 
outside. <laughs> Zombul is awake. The one who I was shooting all that time, remember? He was hanging off the thing. Despite making it very clear he was dead. Turns out, not so much. Alright, the combo for this one is... Woman... Bow... Liquor might not actually be active. So you can see Brian Irons, he left a bunch of these guys to die. Locked them up in here, didn't let them out. And the good cop didn't kill his friends, associates, what have you. So the speedrun strategy is when you set the detonator off, it's to stand here instead and leave the door open and then the game won't, the armor won't fall down. Ah! Which is pretty sneaky. Just leave. I'm, I'm honestly really wondering what I've missed. I think you could leave this early. I might just be like combining the two visits together, which I think is what's happening. Gowdy. Yep, not locked either. Looks like it leads underground. Good. We can get out of this hellhole. Hey, Marvin! Guess what? I think I found a way out. Marvin, Sneak. come on. Let's get you out of here. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, you're not you're not you a zombo okay? yet. Yes. No. <laughs> you may remember I, in the original game, Marvin does don't. turn eventually. Save yourself. Come on, it's bad. We gotta get you to hospital. Please, now. Claire. We both know how this is going to end. Get out of the city. We can't just leave you here. Of course you can. Claire, please go. Do this for me. Okay. Hey, Marvin. 
Thank you. Bye, Marv. I won't be back, I promise. <laughs> I won't be back in like an hour. Right, we're in a secret location. Save room. Good library. They do appear to be all the same one. Got a nice scale model of your PD. Creators' rights. Right, we read that one. Beautiful home. Figure. Fighting. Fighting Street. I think that says. Uh, unnerving combat. Home. Wartime. Photojournalism, possibly. Living well. They killed him. And then it repeats creators' rights. So. A lot of the same book too. A lot of the same book there, and a lot of the same book elsewhere. Hat. It's mysterious books there. Horse and the lion. Goddess. That, I believe, is a way to get back out. Want to, but you don't have the handle anymore because we used it. But there will be another valve handle, so don't worry about it. Okay. Okay, spoilers, we're going into a boss fight. <laughs> I need more than one first aid spray, I've done it wrong. I think I've missed the opportunity to use it at this point. down to the basement of the RPD. A literal fragmentation. Something here, something for stars specifically, not the RPD. So it needs a special item that we don't have. Very fast for a zombie, and very noisily for a liquor. Mm. 
apparently. I don't see any. Do you guys see any stuff? In this room, right? Specifically, not the next room. Yeah. Unless it carries on into the uh, entryway. Right. Carry on into here. I'm not going that way. Ah, uh, look at that boss arena. Get it. No, it has to be in this room. Because if we go any further, it's a cutscene and we can't get back here. So, what is it? What is it in this room? continuing on also into that oh it is yeah continues into that room as well that room there that we're about to walk towards <laughs> curses i've used up all my powers hello hello Young lady. Hey. It's okay. It won't hurt you, I promise. Do you need help? Here, can you take my hand? Hey, what? I'm sorry, I can't. Hey, I'm that guy. Can you set this facial expressions to be 300%? Not on PlayStation, you can't, though. Why? <laughs> a large eyeball you have there. Respect the pipe! Oh. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta respect the pipe. Wesley pipe. The pistol doesn't have the same ring to it, I suppose. Yeah. Ah, oh, you can't 
reload out of combat. I'm stuck. Bullshit. Really? Okay. We might die now. Spider Man, I swung into a building before the hitbox is rendered and got trapped. Nice! <laughs> You're going too fast! Game couldn't keep up with shit. Hey! Little girl? Tiny child? Everything is fine now. It's safe now. Please tend to my wounds. It's over. My many, many wounds. Are you sure? No. Yeah, I promise. Everything's fine. Everything's totally fine. This... I just need you to lower that ladder for me. Too fast for Steam Deck. Yeah, that makes sense. Will you help me find my mom? No. Do I have to? Your mom is down here? I think so. I hope so. Well, do I have to agree or you yeah. won't lower the ladder for me? Of course. I'll help you. Okay, now before I go up there though, I need to fuck replenish my stuff and maybe find something to heal. If also, uh Big Willy took uh my Knives with him over that railing. It's less than ideal. His name's William Birkin, by the way. That's why I'm calling him Big Willy. <laughs> In case you didn't know. Oh, he drops it again. Okay. That's. You know what? That's nice. Thank you, video game. I get all of my ammo back, but I suppose I got a decent amount of it back. That's it. Hey, you know, you, you could have dropped you could have dropped that ladder during the fight. You know, that would have been really helpful. Anyway, collect this shit while I'm in here. These ones. Is that all that's in here? Ooh, there's a herb somewhere. This. Okay. Uh, uh. Alright, my player isn't trying to keel over anymore. No, it's got one of those childproof locks on it. You got it! Sherry, that was easy. You're supposed to be smart. So, what's your mom like? She She's kind of a dick. <laughs> Making an important new medicine. Umbrella? That big pharmaceutical company? 
That's super you know, evil pharmaceutical company? Well, okay, they're all evil, but this one is particular. Well, hopefully you'll get to see her again soon. So, where's your dad? He you just met him. Worked with my mom, but he's gone. Wow. Both of my parents are gone. It's just me and my brother. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be. It means we've got something in common, and that's a good thing, right? Yes, being orphans at a young age is a good thing. More space. You can always do with more space. Uh, so much room. Anyway, because I can't do anything with you at the moment. Things are so heavy. There's a reason they're so heavy, it's so when you drive over them, they don't move. Here. Come on. Over there! Harry, you need to stay quiet. It's closed. Not ideal. Damn it. We need a key card. To get out? I mean, a key card to get in, sure, that makes sense. Do you really need one to get out? Here, I suppose it's a police station, you wouldn't want people escaping from jail. Yeah, okay, that's fair. And you're sure this is the way? This is how my mom took me last time. Sherry? I've been looking everywhere for you, Sherry. Hey, you're crazy still alive girl, and not gone crazy. This mess. On the ground, hands behind your head. <sighs> Can't be serious. Let's be gone. On the ground, now. Now, I'm surprised he didn't just shoot us being a, being a cop and all. Sherry, tie your hands. Why are you doing Shut this? up. Tie her. Oh. Okay, then. You tie her up now, or she dies. I don't get why he doesn't just shoot her anyway. Like, I'm glad he doesn't, because, you know, that would be the end of the game. But, <laughs> why doesn't he just shoot What's her? What's this all about? Child endangerment, for starters. Sherry, come here. What are you gonna do to her? None of your fucking business. If you hurt her, I swear to God, my brother is stars, and I will fuck her. <laughs> Sherry, get over here. Brother of stars, I'll get him after you. What's your name? What's your fucking name? Claire! Sherry, you come with me now. <laughs> What's your name? It's Claire. It's fuckface. Hey, now go! You better be taking me to my mom. Or what? Listen to him, he's shit. Stop hurting her, please! Don't tell me how to do my job. Stop. Somebody Let should. You're not doing it right. Obviously, nobody taught you manners. We'll fix that. Oh, yes, we will. I need help. I need help. I'll get you, you fucker. I just broke my toe doing that. Stay safe, Sherry. All right, well. Okay. Key card first, and then that asshole gets what's coming to him. Wait, what does it say? Warning: Shutter may cause serious injury or death. Wow, fucking heavy is this thing? Okay. 
Does that door... I believe it's locked. I believe it also stays locked for Claire, as this is Leon's section. It's the underground parking area, or the underground where the jail is. I don't think Claire ever goes in there. Alright, this is where he came from. Must be where that guy came from. Yep, that's correct, Claire. <laughs> raccoon Monthly June issue. Attention all Raccoon City heroes! Who's the most feared yet respected man in town? Chris? Albert Wesker? Probably Albert Wesker. The answer should be obvious to any resident of our fair city. Yeah, Albert Wesker. That's right, it's Police Chief Brian Arnold. No, it's not. The man that scares the bejesus out of criminals everywhere, and stern father that loves every last one of us sinful citizens. Fuck wrote this. Chief Irons is known for his great charity work, citation needed, including big contributions, citation needed, to the orphanage, support for abused women, citation needed, our preservation, to be fair, he does have that, animal conservation, unfortunately he has a lot of evidence of that, let us know we've missed anything, just when does our great hero sleep? He doesn't, he's a vampire. When asked, the city is my extended family, I'm just doing what I do for my family, Chief Byron said with a soft, very creepy smile. That bastard is the police chief? Right, got a map of the basement. Express elevator to the chief's office, not for general use. Wow, this guy. He'll piece of shit if he has an express elevator to his own office. Need the diamond key. One of these, one of these open. It's just for Chris or for Leon? Right, that might just be a Leon thing. Sure could go for a refreshing can of Kaumpa and food. Yes, I'd love a refreshing can of food. Equipment disposal notice. Item to be disposed. Key to patrol car 7439. Details bent key. No longer usable, but can still open the car's doors and trunk with its keyless entry buttons. Let's get What kind of box? A tin storage box. There's something inside. Key. A well-worn key. Kind of key. A car key. The ignition key for a car. Its blade is bent. Go ahead and do that in a second. I'm inclined to come back here later when we have the diamond key. We need the diamond key to get in there, so we'll come back to this room when we have it. Alright. Since we have the car key, let's go use it. it. Said it's a patrol car, so it must be this one. JMP HP3. Yes. Now we have a weapon that's competing for ammunition! Hooray! Although right now it is actually better than our current weapon. Okay, so 
right now it's better because we haven't got the upgrade for the other gun yet. There's one more upgrade that makes it better than this one. Right now this gun is a little bit better. I'm looking for the diamond. Locked, so we go through there. Process of elimination, we have to go this way through the kennels. This'll go well. Hey, that's not a dog. Poison. I don't have a ton of ammo either. Okay, so, liquors. Liquors are blind. So it is possible to avoid combat with them. So we're gonna try. Don't look directly at its foothold. It's like a cat. You know? Tries to uh, assert dominance by pointing its butthole directly at you. Okay, there's one on the roof. This one is a little awkward to avoid because Claire's head can just bump into him. Unfortunately, have to go back that way. Actually, can I unequip you? Unequip. Like, not even be in the list. That doesn't seem to be an option. to the Merg. Autopsy record number 53477. Name of deceased, Justin Hansen. Male, Caucasian, 39 years old. Found dead in jail cell bed by staff. Hands are still clenched tight due to rigor mortis, which should be coming to an end. It's highly likely that he died just after lights out. Deceased was a known kleptomaniac, incarcerated multiple times. Incredibly, he would steal even while in jail, though that was consistent with his clinical diagnosis. How would he steal while he was in jail? How are you managed? How was he managing to do that? I don't know. Okay, this guy's still alive, so... Well, not alive. You know what I mean. Zombie alive. When I shoot you, that what means go away. Are you serious? My knife back. Alright, I might have been wrong then about that gun being better. I think all it really does is hold more ammo. I think that actually makes it a better gun.
on you, so let's put you back in. So we don't wake up. Nothing at all. Okay. So it's just this one. Reasonably certain he wakes up. A key! Cool. Anyway, what kind of key? A diamond key. <laughs> Back to walking. Back to walking. We got to go back through the liquor room. Only the liquors have moved. And now he's in the way. <laughs> he's just in the way and there's really not much that can be done. I think. I'm, re I'm pretty sure we can't get past him. You asshole. Dead or what? Okay, now he's dead. Right. How's my health? Yellowish, fine. Low on grenade rounds. Not ideal. Anyway, uh, they killed the dogs. Fortunately. Unless, of course, you play as Leon. Leon has to fight the dogs. That's right. However, that's not the only liquor. Gotta sleep, enjoy the zombies, no worries. On a Mac guy. Have a good one. We come around the corner of this guy, and this guy wants to Peter Parker kiss us. That shit. He likes to do the Peter Parker upside down kiss. The kids even know what that is. That was in the first, the very first, no, sorry, not the very first Spider Man movie. The very first Spider Man movie was like some weird thing in Japan. I mean, the Tobey Maguire, like, Sony Spider Man film. So I must have to pick it up on the other side. A message from Mr. Raccoon. Howdy boys and girls, it's your pal from the Raccoon City Zoo. It's always great to see you. Today I want to talk about something really important to me. You know my popular Mr. Raccoon toys? Well I heard some bad kids have been using them for target practice. That makes me really sad. Good little kids wouldn't be that mean, right? Plus, it's super, super dangerous, so let's just don't do it. Anyway, see you at the zoo. Totally gonna keep doing it. Blech. Okay. What kind of film is it? It's... Three floor locker. Third floor, presumably. Another an undeveloped roll of flim for the third floor locker. So that's where you get the code and all that. Uh, we're gonna have to make some room. Or and B, as far as I'm aware, you can't with and I just realized I could have mixed the blue with this. Okay, so I do want to come in here. Um, not just for Mr. Raccoon, which is in there, but there are some items that I would like to use. Yeah. 
probably kill him with this side. I don't think he can eat. To me, honestly, I don't think he could. But I guess they can crawl, even if you don't hurt them. That, I have a knife. Wasting the ammo if I don't have to. Okay, that's everything. Fuck, I missed something in the door. Well, I'm not going back for it now. go back in there. Leon uh, has to go through this section. Having their dinner. What exactly? It's horrible. I don't want regular gunpowder, honestly. All right, the shoulder stock for the GM seventy nine, which is the grenade launcher. Fortunately, that means it takes up two slots now, which is less. All right, that's all. All mixtures of herbs. Everything in this room. Card reader, which you don't have yet. Marvin, remember when I said we, were, we weren't coming back? Yeah, yeah, I thought it was pretty funny too. This is interesting, an interesting change from the remake, in that we actually come the opposite way through the secret room. Submachine gun ammo. It's a problem we don't have yet. It's fine, we'll be coming back through here anyway. Copy of emails to Chief Irons. Police Chief Irons, as thanks for your unwavering support, I've deposited a small sum into your account to use as you see fit. I can count on you to maintain surveillance over your subordinates, especially the ones who survived that mansion. Get rid of them if you must, WB. 
Chief Irons, I ran into some trouble with Umbrella Headquarters. The suits want to take the fruit of my research away, but don't worry. This will all blow over soon. You just keep doing what I tell you to do. Sorry. You just keep doing what I tell you to, and everything will be all right. WB. Chief Irons, you are... You are to up the security around my lab. Your muscle heads are to shoot any suspicious person on sight. Doesn't matter if they kill them or even if they're umbrella employees. I'm so close to completing G and no asshole is going to get in my way. WB. Police Chief Irons, get your shit together and do your fucking job. I told you I need more security in the sewers. Don't you know how critical of a time this is for me? As for the money, I can pay you whatever once I take over, but not before. Why don't you get that? Never forget how expendable you are, WB. Oof, that was probably the wrong to say there at the end. Anyway, remember it was animal conservation or whatever? Yeah, he's Gus. He certainly has citations, at least. Lots of them. And a crocodile. Very good. Mega box. You know why we can put this gun away. <laughs> I'll get rid of it. Put it away, put it away. Do I have regular gunpowder? I guess I can use that to make some more grenades. No, we do. Uh, we don't need both of these. We don't need this because the dark room has an item box in it. So that's fine. rounds. Taxidermy log. White-tailed deer, male, approximately six years old. Place of capture, Arclay Mountains. Length 6-1. Length? How much it is, right? Weight 353 pounds. Wow. Pleased with how it turned out, but I'm getting tired of working on these puny things. Maybe time to move on to more challenging animals. Siberian tiger. Endangered. Anyway, four years old. Okay, so Kasher Kavarovsky, no, Kavarovskry, maybe. Length 9 foot 6, wowzers. 529 pounds, that's a big boy. I nearly, I nearly came when I sliced its yellow belly open and its warm guts spilled out. Still, I still smell of wild beasts. This is the life. Gross. Not the slicing open part, the jizz in his pants part. Pig. 22 years old. Hmm. 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 Don't think he's talking about. The animal. Place of capture, Raccoon City. Yeah, probably not many farms in the city. Length, 5'3". Just be short for a pig, 110 pounds. The specimen's body is soft, sweet, and white all over, and it's all mine forever. What the fuck? What up, Wolfie? Tiger. Got the powder. Hmm. Thank God. The key card. So that's our next goal. But shenanigans. shop letter. From your description regarding the electronic lock on the door in a police chief's office, it sounds like something needs replacing. You will need some power panel parts to fix the issue. Fortunately, a repairman from one of our stores is at the station to repair the bell in the clock tower. He sent a few spare parts with him, and he reported that he left one in the third floor east storage room. If something goes wrong or you need more than one, please don't hesitate to seek him out in the clock tower. We look forward to serving you. Now where to go with that? Got a relief? What kind of relief? A lover's relief. A relief depicting a pair of lovers. Ooh, ooh, what's this? A key. A fancy looking key. What kind of fancy looking key? What kind of fancy looking key? A heart key. A heart shaped key. Alright, now we have all the key. No, we don't. 
Although I'm not sure Claire gets the cool thing. I think only Leon gets the cool thing. Something like that. So Leon gets the club key and Claire gets the heart key. I think is how it works. Pick these up and put them in the box. You can probably work out where we are by this shutter. We are on the second floor, west, east wing. We're on the opposite side of the east wing. Is it just the key cards? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, there's a herb on this side. We can grab that. And we'll go to the waiting room. Don't know what's safe. Oh no, we actually we can't get in there yet. Uh, so we're going upstairs. Or downstairs. This is made very. Okay, so it is in this section where Mr. X will spawn. Trying to do everything I can to avoid going to that section as much as possible. Because once he spawns, he's here. He's just going to be roaming. So I'm going to try, going to try to avoid having that happen. It's not. Sorry, it's not. It's unavoidable. You have to go to that section eventually. Just the question is, how long can you put it off? All right, the east storage room is meant to have. Power something or others. I'm debating space. I think we'll go downstairs first. Basically, there is a room I'm trying to avoid going into, because once we go into it, Mr. X spawns, and I would rather have as little possible left to do in, in, in the RPD before that happens. Yeah. Hey, what's up?
tells me to have to go deal with the liquor. Ah, this is what the red jewel is for. An ornate box. What kind of ornate box? The jeweled box. Jewels adorn the top of this beautiful box. There seems to be something inside. That's nice. Not sure if that's coming across on the stream, but if you rotate us, you can hear something moving around. Oh, it's not important. Okay, and now to get destroyed by a liquor. Lovely. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's find out what's in the bejeweled box. Special badge for RPD Special Forces Division, stars. It's got a thing on it. A USB dongle, a badge shaped USB connector. Use that uh, in Stara's office. Okay. Again, avoiding as much as possible as going near the room where Mr. X falls. Once he's here, you can put him back in the box. So it's it's in there. Shots to the head do you need? You ask me. My knife back. Or don't. That works too. What the hell? Used it. Oh, it's still going. I got it in this room. There's the blue word. Let's see what's in here first before we do that. Box electronic parts. Right, that's a key item. That's important. It's a knife. It's not a question who stabbed it into the mannequin's head. Also one of those guys somewhere. It's... Can I hit him with a knife? That's everything in here. Box containing an electronics part. Electronic part. Small electronic part. 
Power panel part. Custom part for a power panel. Let's grab. Let's grab. Herb. And this. Large gear. I can fuck. I can. Okay, I can't fit anything. Right, let's put some stuff in the box. things we need to keep in our inventory when we need to leave. Let's get rid of it now instead. Okay. Uh, I want to keep all of this is the problem. Put that gear. Right. Uh, I'm just going to put these away so I can pick up the gear and the blue herb. That leaves us enough room. I'm actually going to call it here. For the stream. I'm just gonna pick up these two items and then we'll start the next stream with Mr. X, basically. What kind of large gear? The large gear. Okay, rusty old gear. It looks like it belongs to some machine or Eventually we'll go through there and have to deal with Mr. X. For now. Until we have to absolutely deal with them, we're not going. for Fully Plays Resident Evil 2 2019 uh, for now. Uh, we're about halfway. Ish. A little less than halfway. Um, although the sewer section isn't very long. Anyway, working our way through it. I am taking my time with it. You can definitely finish this game in like four hours if you just blast. You know, don't stop to look at things. You know, don't stop to read the notes. You already know all the codes to everything. You can just do everything really quick. Short circuit a lot of quests fetch things and that kind of thing. There's a lot of items I'm picking up that we don't need. You know, like that handgun in the police boot. We don't need it. This handgun is better. Uh, eventually, when you have everything up, when you have them all, both of them upgraded, this handgun ends up being the better one. Um, but yeah, I want to take my time on it, because this is going to be like the canonical run of Resident Evil 2. And when we swap them around, I'll start doing shenanigans like taking a rocket launcher with us and that kind of stupid shit. Um, anyway, thanks uh, Automakai for hanging out in the, in the chat with me and anyone who's lurking on the stream, that's always uh, f fine. As I wanted to say, I don't know, I want to come up with a better word, but that was it. Um, over my head, you can see followers. Uh, I'd like to get to 50. Uh, I don't, like, I'd like to hit affiliate, you know, it'd be nice. I've been doing this a while, I stream fairly often. It'd be, it'd be nice to be affiliate, but whatever. If you know anyone who might like to watch Resident Evil, for instance, you know, let them know. Let them uh, try, drop them a follow or something. Uh, if you want to catch up on previous entries in Fully Plays Resident Evil, um, we've played Resident Evil 1 Director's Cut, and we've played the original Resident Evil 2. Um, you can find them over on the Archive channel and youtube.com slash doomtrain5. 
Uh, additionally, if you are watching on the Archive channel, you can watch these games done live over at twitch.tv slash 2 5 and you can hang out in the chat with me. And you can you can help me hit 50 followers, hopefully. Or more, you know, hundreds, thousands of followers. Anyway, um, next stream will be Wednesday. Uh, we're probably going to finish The Case of the Golden Idol, which is our current Foley Fable. The Foley Fable series is a series where we look at games that have a strong narrative focus and where the narrative is the primary uh gameplay as it were whereas resident evil you know particularly the more modern ones do have a strong story focus but the, you know the reason you're playing it is because it's fun to run around and shoot things anyway if you want to check that out case of the golden idol uh we'll probably finish it off on wednesday uh you can watch it then thursday we're continuing a fairly long let's play of the breath of the wild legend of zelda breath of the wild in my attempt to do everything before tears of the kingdom comes out uh, so you can, again, follow along with that. Uh, there won't be a stream on Friday this week, although usually there is, um, but not this week. I have a work event to attend. And uh, Saturday, we'll come back to Claire. So more Resident Evil on Saturday. Potentially we'll finish it. Uh, we'll finish Claire's run, at least. Um, and Sunday, we'll be doing the weekly news recap, which is a weekly video series a weekly live stream that I do where we look into industry news for that week. Uh, so new game releases, uh, updates, trailers, that kind of thing, game delays, and then our long-running angry section, or at least the section where I get very angry, is the industry bullshit section where we look at all the dumb, shitty things that the video games industry does. Uh, anyway, if, you, if any of that sounds interesting, drop by the Twitch channel or the YouTube channel. Anyway, I'm going to head off for the rest of my evening. You have a good evening yourself, and I'll see you on Wednesday for a case of the Golden Idol. <laughs>